Hey guys, welcome back to our mold making series. I've got my second coat on Goliath that is dry. This is our final runny coat we're gonna do. And we are fixing to add our thick coats and to fill in all of our undercuts. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we have our chemical thick soap. This is a thickening agent and it's a thickening agent you can measure and you can calculate. The best way to do this is just add a little and work it slowly. And so what I do, I just kind of add a lit, a generous amount, about like that. You don't want this stuff rock hard, but you do want it to start thickening up so you don't have any more product. You don't have any more product uh, dripping to the bottom. We don't need any more product on the bottom of our mold. And so I'm going to keep adding some thickener until it kind of starts looking like cake batter. If you'll notice, it's starting to thicken up pretty well. But you don't want it. You just kind of add a hair bit more. And you just kind of learn to eyeball it. Don't dump too much or it'll get, it'll get almost kind of like rubbery and, and unpliable. But if you'll notice, it's starting to kind of almost appear to be like cake batter. This is pretty good. And we might add a hair a bit more. And then I'm gonna show you something else I've got going. I've got some Easter eggs here. From this point forward, after we begin to thicken up our rubber, we gotta start considering in our minds our mother mold. Now this is going to be our hard shell that fits on top of this that we're gonna build and make that is gonna allow this rubber to sit into for a tight seal on both sides. It's gotta be able to have some keys to fit. So what I'm going to do is put stuff like this on different places on the body and then we're going to build up some silicone on it and this will allow the mother mold when we pour it to have a place to set down into the rubber and we'll start adding those and I like eggs because they're a really nice shape for getting off and on. If you get square shapes, they're, they're hard, these are smooth when they're like this and they fit really well. So we're gonna start working that. Um, but right now we're just gonna, if you'll notice we've got undercuts here, right? We've got lots of undercut down here that we're gonna have to fill and backfill and fill all that in. Um, and so we're just gonna start adding the undercuts. And I use, sometimes I'll use a spatula, a cheap little spatula like this. And I'll start just kind of filling in. Okay guys, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep adding our thickening agent on here. And when you know, when we return, this is gonna be completely full and filled. Um, all of our undercuts filled. This is gonna take a lot of material. A lot of material is going to be used in the, the filling process, especially on complex molds. You're gonna to have to fill a lot, it's gonna be expensive, and that's just the nature of the game. You're gonna have a lot of material. Um, so we're gonna keep filling this in. Make sure on if you have a piece, you, you've gotta have a lot of this undercut filled in because your mother mold needs a smooth. So basically we'll make a smooth rounded edge down here and we'll get rid of these, these, uh, these supports. Make sure you pull those out or you'll lock your stuff in. Um, and we'll pull that out. But this is a good time right now to start thinking of your egg placement. A quick note. Do not put these, your, your registry keys for your mother mold on the center of a face of any figure or a key central important high detailed spot because sometimes when you pinch it together later you can smash your face in if you don't get a perfect seal and it'll ruin and that's a hard thing to fix after you've made your mold. And so think of kind of obscure, kind of simple places, you know, thicken it up just a hair bit more before you add it. Um, but it's a good time to start kind of adding um, your pea. And you can use different stuff. You don't have to use an egg. The egg, just in my opinion, works well for big stuff. You'll have to find smaller things that will work, like rounded nuts. Those work really well for registry keys. But I'm going to go ahead and add all this stuff up. Um, add it, put it on, add all of my material. And we'll come back and I'll show you what it's like on our final layer. Um, and then we'll start our mother mold. And so guys, I really appreciate y'all watching my videos and learning. This, the, this process is a long video. We, can, we can't make it short. Um, this is the process you can't rush. So I encourage you, if you want to do this, 
Take your time. This is going to take you a weekend. This stuff takes a while to dry. You can't rush it. And so you got to really take your time. So thanks, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Hey, guys. Welcome back. This is uh, our second coat, our second thick coat we're fixing to add. And hopefully, I think this will be it, all we need for our thick coat. Um, and I want you to notice, uh, for this big sculpture here, it took about one bucket's worth of silicone rubber and I think this is a nine pound bucket and, and it took almost the whole thing of curing agent catalyst and it actually I actually used a tiny bit more to cure it a little faster and I had some purple so it made this disgusting green color but this is kind of the, the thick heavy duty uh, thickening uh, agent we need to, to fill in these holes and we're gonna fill in all of this stick this a lot of this undercut down here and what you need to consider from this point is our mother mold and what we got to be thinking are we going to do a two-part mother mold or a one-part mother mold and I'm going to show you how to do that but I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these deep cracks down here, these deep grooves where it'll make our mother mold pretty easy to get off and uh, and, and kind of a quick tip if you're going to be casting in resin you have a lot more grace on getting molds off. You have a lot more grace pulling them off. But if you're casting in um, some type of stone material, like plaster or hydrostone, you have less grace. And you'll end up breaking figures trying to get them out. And I generally cast in resin. So I'm going to add this down here and work this last layer um, and, and just fill in any of these deep little holes down here. And then when you come back, uh, when you come back, we are going to begin to work on our mold, our mother mold. And be mindful, we're fixing to turn this sucker around and start all over. The whole process is going to be repeated on the back side. And this is where um, sometimes it, it doesn't click yet until we turn it around. And when we turn it around, mold making will click in your brain. And I realize this has been a lot of videos. And it's a lot of work, this part. And so I'm gonna fill in these in, and you guys get the picture. I'm gonna fill in my undercuts deep in here. And when you return, we're gonna have to decide, are we gonna make a mold, our mother mold, out of plaster, out of uh, what I use is Bondo resin. And each one's kind of different sometimes. And we're gonna, we're gonna make a decision on what we're gonna use. And the mother mold's just a whole nother beast to tackle. But on our next video, it, it'll be the mold making process and uh, and I'll actually it'll be a whole different it'll be our part four of our um, of our series so I appreciate you guys sticking with me when when we come back uh, this side of the life is going to be ready to go we've gone a long ways on this thing and so I appreciate you guys sticking with me uh, and learning and putting up with all the background noise and all that uh, I appreciate you guys uh, learning I appreciate you really pressing forward to learn your craft. And so thanks guys. Can't wait to see you again.